Hello everyone, I am your lovely host, The Gaming Weasel, and in today's video, we're gonna be covering Steinax. He recently got a beautiful deluxe skin, and I decided to, you know, play around with him, maybe come up with a build, and I have cooked something up for you guys, and in today's video, in the pot, we have a new king, we basically have infinite amounts of health, shields, overguard, and also energy, and basically everything else you could possibly need in Warframe, in a Warframes 2 basically, and we have that in Steinax. Now, what kind of passive and abilities does he have? Well, the passive is gonna give you critical chance per shields active, so keep that in mind, and that's 1% per 40 shields, and this is doubled for spear guns, which is very nice, but you're not gonna be using spear guns. The first ability, Axios Javelin. You throw a Javelin, preferably impale an enemy, do puncture damage. If you don't, you're gonna be doing blast, and you're gonna be summoning a vortex that is gonna be sucking enemies in. Now, with this augment, it is okay, it is a little bit better. It summons three vortexes instead of one, but we want to use Roar as our helmet ability. Roar is gonna increase the damage of our abilities and also gonna increase the damage of our weapons, which is going to be very, very nice. We're gonna need this for everything else. Else, basically and now Theros strike is the second ability you throw shields in front of you you smack enemies away from you they give you health back and they also get fully shield and armor stripped which is going to be very nice and this also works on acolytes which is even better now rally point is his third ability it is going to give you energy regen I can't speak apparently and also gonna give you shields per kills and assists which is going to be very nice as well and final stand. Well, basically you're gonna be floating up in the air, summoning specters of yourself, and you're gonna be throwing a lot of javelins, doing a lot of slash and impact damage, sorry not impact, but blast if you miss, so don't miss, and with this we just need to prime it with something it is going to be even better. What the icing on the cake is this augment mod right here, the intrepid stand mod. Damaging enemies gives you overguard, and this is going to be going up way high somewhere. The maximum that I was about to gain, or that I would had at one point, was 85,000 overguard, which is going to be very good. So, talking about priming enemies, we're going to talk about the weapons. The Cedo is my primer of choice. I recommend you use this because the discs from the secondary fire are going to be very, very nice. They're going to be easily just throwing all around the room, jumping around the room, doing viral damage, and also random status effects, and you can really easily cast your fourth ability, go in your final stand, and kill those enemies while they're still getting primed, so that's gonna be very good. That's why I don't recommend Epitaph or Kuvenu Core or any other, because this is, I guess, the smoothest transition. Now, secondary, we actually have none, and the main weapon of choice is the Cronin Prime with this build right here. Uh, this is going to basically be used only to kill the first few enemies, give you energy, and then you're, you're off to the races, and that's basically it. But it is good to have a good melee weapon. You don't necessarily need the Chrono Prime, you can use something else, but I use it because I, you know, it's the easiest way, easiest option, and that's basically it. But Steinax. Steinax's build is going to be looking like this a lot of power strength, growing power, power drift, auger secrets. Precision Intensify, then we have Blind Rage and also Molt Augmented. Now, Auger Reach can be changed out for a Flow mod. You might be seeing we don't have one. Now, Reach is only good for his fourth ability and the blast of it, and that's basically it. Now, you can necessarily, as I said, use Flow or you can choose another mod you want to put in there. Uh, Orc can Energize, Molt Augmented, pretty much a necessary here. You can try without, without Orc can Energize, but is it going to be up to you? And Precision Intensify also can be changed out for Umbler Intensify, so you can boost the damage uh, that you gain from uh, your Roar, which is going to be very good, but you lose out on your fourth, so that's why I don't personally recommend it. Now, the Archon Shards. We have one that is going to be giving us 15% power strength, then we're going to be getting two or yellow ones, 25% casting speed, so 50, very nice, and then the energy that we talked about, 75 with one tau forged one, and 50 with a normal one, and that's basically it for Orcon Shards. Now, the focus schools, the two nodes that I prefer you use are going to be these ones up on the screen right now. Now, keep this in mind, I necessarily don't use this at the beginning of the gameplay, so I start off at level 180, uh, and I basically don't necessarily use it at any sort of, I guess, beginner point, around 300, 400, then I start using it just because I can, and in the gameplay, of course, uh, for you guys, but it's not this in but it's there for you guys, if you want it, so, yeah, but also, 
the Panzer of choice. This is going to be our main, of course, Volprofila that is going to be applying viral. So Panzer Volprofila is the, the companion. There you go. Uh, the second set normally. Uh, we have Viral Quills and we have Sin Deconstruct, basically the two mods that we're going to be needing a lot. Sin Deconstruct is going to be giving us health from enemies, extra drop chances, like that a lot. And Viral Quills is going to be basically just giving us Viral. So we have a lot of Viral and basically guaranteed Viral and also guaranteed Slash. And with that we have a lot of damage. And that is going to be basically how this build is going to work. Yes, short and sweet. Uh, you basically activate Rally Point, gain energy. And whilst you're doing that, you can kill a couple of enemies with the Cronin or the Cedo, and what you're going to be doing from on is just using your fourth ability. Activate Roar when uh, Growing Power activates, when Molt Augments builds up slowly, 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 actually a lot faster than slowly, but you know, I'll say it like that. Uh, and then after a certain point, you're basically just going to be using Final Stand to kill everything. You necessarily don't need the Cedo or need the Focus Cool, but you can utilize them uh, if you want. And that is basically it. That's how you play the build to have fun, throw javelins all over the place, impale enemies and do a lot of damage, that's basically what I recommend you do. I hope you guys enjoyed, if you guys did do leave a like, comment down below on what you think of the video and what you think of the build in general, I would love to hear that from you guys, and yeah, that's basically it, this has been the Gaming Weasel, over and out, and also don't forget to subscribe, goodbye, love you!